Good lord, look at the size of that thing! I tell you, whatever had those arms must have been a monster. Welcome to 30 Days of Dinovember, where we're going to be talking about 30 little-known dinosaurs with big stories, and today, the mystery behind these gigantic arms. So our whole story starts with this woman, Sofia Keelan Yavoroshka, who is a strong contender for the most badass paleontologist to ever exist. I mean, seriously, during World War II, she served as a medic in the Polish resistance up until the Warsaw Uprising when she was 15. Oh, and that whole time she was getting a secret education to boot. And after the war, she would go on to be the first woman to lead a dinosaur expedition, where they would find these horrifying nine-foot-long disembodied arms, and appropriately, they would name this dinosaur Dinochiris, meaning horrible hands. Now, it was initially thought that these arms would have belonged to a giant predatory dinosaur like Allosaurus here, until some further study concluded that those arms actually looked a whole lot more like the ones we see on Ornithomimids, the so-called ostrich mimic dinosaurs like Gallimimus, except way bigger. And so now we thought Dinochiris looked like this, at least until we found the rest of it. Really? We sure about that? God, it looks like a T-Rex-sized Muppet monster. Well, they found two of them, so yeah, we're pretty sure. You never know when a new discovery will completely rewrite what you thought you knew about an animal. 